Farm Guy here with an update video for Overland Trailer by Ridiculous Dominic. 8.53 megabytes to download. It's uh, it's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console on Farming Simulator 22. Um, I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl for this. Um, five and eight slots. It's a pack of two trailers. And um, update change log 1.001 fixed unrealistic loading and unloading fixed liquid unloading and fixed camera issue on consoles now when i first um tested and uh did my first video on this i missed a couple things or i didn't completely understand how everything worked um and it is a little bit tricky and aside from the fact that it wasn't really working properly so it kind of really confused me now i do believe i have figured it out so first of all tools and miscellaneous that's where you'll find them and we have two of them one is liquids only and the other is a multi-product auto load so if we can see by the down at the bottom it will hold all those items down there as you can see so we're going to um, attempt to demonstrate uh, how it all works first of all we'll take the liquid trailer because that's the simplest of them all we'll start it up and hook it up to this tractor we have an unfold vehicle which opens the fronts doors open cover opens the side doors now this is the one without the camper addition uh, additional camper insides so it just does that the other one kind of opens one side and the other side and kind of goes through so i showed that in the first video and um it does have an engine but i don't think the engine does anything so what does this hold we did kind of show you we have water milk liquid fertilizer digestate herbicide diesel diesel exhaust fluid and slurry let's go with slurry i have it and on an unreal setting so that means i will get sixty thousand liters of slurry and um and fortunately the weight is not extreme so it sinks into the ground so that was fixed very nice and unloading uh, all we have to do so it's basically a tank a tanker that's what it is because you come up to the slurry and unload the slurry and it automatically does all this and it's pretty simply that's what it does we have lights and reverse uh, no reverse lights just lights so you can see the uh, inside we can look straight through there's nothing in there it's pretty much uh, just a tanker um, if you want to uh, uh, open cover yeah you can pretend uh, you can you can actually if you want to just toss in um, pallets or whatever you want to uh, as well you can do that if you like now the tricky uh, the tricky ricky part of this whole thing is the other trailer the the auto load trailer and this one has a number of things you need to know and hopefully i can oh come on there we go hopefully I can uh, demonstrate uh, it and explain it a little better than I did last time so we have four compartments as you can see up here top left so the first if we just go here it also does carry liquids and that can be easily filled by just coming up to a fill point and fill up the liquids um, as you can see here uh, it is also 60,000 liters capacity of uh, all the same liquids as the other trailer could hold so there we go now we have liquids in there but that's not all folks it does have a little bit of an odd lean to it when you have something in it which is a little bit funny uh, but it doesn't tip over right so what's what are the other things we can do with this well if we go with the a button and click over to the first compartment l1 and x unfolds it whoa now it's a little tippy 
Um, that should have... Um, oh, I didn't choose the camper version. We should be able to... Hold on. Oh, there we go. Uh, I was on the wrong... There we go. Uh, top, the top one there. There we go. The top one, L1 and X, unfolds it. And notice there's a little light that comes on. So that we have activated that first compartment. And if we come up to some pallets, we should be able to... Yes, there we go. We'll load up that first compartment with cheese. And try not to get too close to the other... Uh, there we go. So we have loaded that compartment up with a cheese. Uh, that compartment will hold 60,000 liters on the Unreal setting. Now, if we go back in here and press X again, we have disengaged that compartment. Moving on to the next compartment. Press X, and now you see that the second light has activated. That is our second compartment. And if we come up over to these cakes... We are now loading up cake in the second compartment, and that will hold up to 60,000 liters. Right, so let's close that one and say we go on to the next compartment and unfold that. Now the third light has activated, and I do believe... Oh, it's not letting me fill that one for some reason. Uh, let's go over to this other f spot. I thought you would be able to fill it with products, say grain or something else. Is my uh, Of course, I didn't test that. I was testing the others, and I assumed. I am getting the start filling, though, but it's not... It's not giving me anything. Hold on. All right. I think I figured it out. Yes, so you can get grain products in there. You do have to. It doesn't go... I don't think you can fill it from a buy anything. You can fill it from a... There we go. It goes in at the side. So there we go. We're filling it up with grain. So we have water... We have grain, we have cake and cheese, all in the same uh, trailer, which is, I do believe, something no other mod uh, can do or does do at the moment. So that is quite, quite, uh, quite an incredible feat, I must say, and something either I missed or I misunderstood in the first video. So hopefully this corrects um, a lot of questions and uh, maybe promotes uh, you guys to use this mod. It seems like everything is working at least pretty good. It's a little quirky just because of all these things uh, that it holds. So of course now we are highlighted on the grain tank. So if we want to want to 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 close it, L1 and X. And now they're all closed. So if we come up over here, except for maybe the... Yeah, so you see we're not getting any trigger. If we highlight the water tank, which is the lowest, bottom lowest one there, that one's kind of always open, it seems to me. Yeah. So that one's kind of always open. The liquid's always open, so we can empty that. And there we go. So we're... Oh, when you go do that... This back door opens too, like you're emptying out the septic tank or something, which is kind of cool. I like that. Uh, the unload speed is pretty nice for 60,000 liters. It is unloading quite quickly. So that's nice. So we're going to stop that. Right. So let's go over to this one. That tank, I do believe, has the cheese in it. But 
for right now we're not unloading why because we have to l1 and unfold it and guess what there we go cheese now we can unload the cheese there we go that one is empty let's toggle over to the other tank now that's highlighted it's also closed l1 and x unfolds it hey guess what r1 and triangle and we have emptied our cake one more guess what it's closed x l1 and x there we go wheat is now open and there we go we have unloaded the wheat so uh multi-product auto load trailer um, it is even more fantastic than I thought it was at first now that I have uh, glad now that I have understood uh, how it all works um, yes <laughs> so the lights on the side tell you which uh, which ones are how many of them are open we want to remind you of that L1 and X there we go yeah, that one's open if we want to open this one. That one's open. And that one's open. So they're all open. If you come by a bunch of pallets with them all open, it will start just loading, loading them all up. And let's see here. Uh, the load trigger it appears to be at the side let's see what's going yes so there we go well, cake is loading in a different one the uh, was that cereal in that one so the load trigger is uh, on the side not on the top it was on the top before and I think that's what was causing maybe some problems and it seems to be resolved now I think I might have filled both tanks with yeah so uh, advisable to fill uh, one tank at a time with whatever product turning it on and off if you have them all open they may or may not quite work just quite right so that is the beauty of being able to turn the tanks each tank on and off and only have one operable or open so that you can fill it with run product shut that one off and so on and so forth and there you have it hopefully that is explained now how it works and i think everything is working properly uh thanks to uh ridiculous dominic for fixing those issues and um, that's the Overland Trailer by Ridiculous Dominic, 8.53 megabytes to download. And this was uh, fixed, the uh, Chainsaw 1.001 fixed on realistic loading and unloading, fixed liquid unloading, and fixed the camera issue on consoles. So we don't have a, we can enter it and go inside. So if you want to play camper, uh, there's some of the product that loads there's some cake in there actually <laughs> so you can actually enter and start up the uh, the engine I don't think yeah anyways I digress thank you all for watching I'm Looney Farm Guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now